once again guys welcome to my youtube channel so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to update from windows 10 to windows 11 on unsupported hardware so and to do that we first need to download the windows 11 iso file so i'm going to open my web browser now so i'm going to search here windows 11 download We're going to open this first link here from microsoft.com. Then we're going to locate the Windows 11 disk image. So I'm going to select the Windows 11 multi disk edition. Then press download now. After that, we're going to select the product language. So I'm going to select English, then press confirm. Then press 64 bit download. As you can see, the download has already started, but me already downloaded earlier on. So I'm not going to download now. So I'm going to minimize that. So I'm going to locate the downloads, then the Windows 11. So I'm going to run the ISO file. It's going to open a setup file, which we're going to click. So right now, when I try to update this machine, since it has unsupported hardware, I'm going to get an error that my machine doesn't meet the minimum requirements to run Windows 11. So you're going to see As you can see right now, it's checking if my PC meets the minimum requirements. Yeah, as I told you guys, it's, it's going to show that this PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements. So I will not be able to update. And I'm going to show you a simple solution to bypass this and you'll be able to update your machine to the latest Windows 11. As you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to open my web browser. So I'm going to search here. Media. Creation tool. So I'm going to download this tool over here. So the download has already finished, so I'm going to extract it. So I'm going to open this folder. Then I'm going to find a folder called bypass 11. So I'm going to open that folder. We're going to run this BAT script here, which is called keep TPM check on dynamic update.
as you can see it has been installed successfully so i'm going to press any key to exit and now we are going to now we are going to rerun the setup file So I'm going to wait for the setup to start. So I'm going to select to not update right now or don't know the updates. As you can see right now, I've been able to bypass th that check. Yeah. So right now we are going to update our machine to the latest Windows 11. So here you can choose what to keep if you don't want to keep all the files and applications yeah you can select here keep files personal files only or you can choose to delete everything but for me i want to keep everything all my files and applications so i'm going to choose this option here then next As you can see, the setup has already started installing Windows 11. Yeah, so you're going to wait for this to finish. Yeah, in the meantime, you can take a coffee. Yeah. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.